Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. This is another in and out video, this time about the month of October that just passed. And I'm gonna link you the September in and out video up here to check it out if you're interested. And this video is basically me showing you which items have come into my life in October and which items I have decluttered. As a minimalist, I of course don't have a huge fluctuation. I'm not decluttering thousands of things anymore because I've been doing that for many years now, but there are still a few items that are leaving my life and coming into my life each month. And I thought it's interesting for you to see how that can be in a minimalist's life. But of course we are all different, our lives are different. So the items that come into our lives and leave our lives are different as well. But let's start and I'm gonna start with books. My birthday was in August and I got a bunch of books and this month I kind of read the last ones that I got for my birthday and since I don't keep any books, which I talk about in the video up here, maybe I'm gonna make a new one about that topic because it's pretty old, but still here is why I don't like own books. I usually declutter them whenever I've read them and give them to somebody else to read. So the first book that I have finished this month is this one. It's um, the Swedish version of a very popular book. Um, I think in orig the original book is in English and a lot of you um, told me that it's a great book and I actually really enjoyed it. It was kind of hard to read since I think it was written well, which means there are a lot of different words used. And my Swedish just comes from working for six months in Sweden and I never really spoke Swedish. I always spoke English and other people just spoke Swedish. So that's what I learned, but it was possible. I hope my Swedish got a little bit better and maybe I should read more books in Swedish. I picked that up at an open bookshelf in Switzerland. So that's why I have that one in Swedish. Otherwise I would have read it in English, I think. Um, yeah, I thought it was a really good book. I can recommend it. The story is kind of tragic but still really nice. And so yeah, if you're interested in something like this, I'm gonna link the book down below. The next book I finished is this one. That This is also one I picked up in Switzerland in the open bookshelf. And it's a very, 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 very tragic story, real story of the author. She wrote down about her um, youth and how she was able to escape Rwanda, where she comes from. Um, alive as one of, of only a few. Um, it was very educational, like I can now, I now know a lot more about this country and its history. Um, yeah, but definitely not like a, an easy read or a super fun to read, obviously, but still very good and I really liked it and I can recommend it, even though I'm really not sure if it exists in, I think the original might be English, um, I don't know if I, I look it up and I link it down below if I can find it in English. And then the third book I read also has to do with racism and it's um, this one. I don't think this one exists in English because it's a German person and the title says being German and also black. And it's, it's about um, a man, he now died, I think, um, and just how he experienced Germany through the past hundred years as a black person. Also very interesting, also not like really fun to read, but definitely something that I would also recommend if you speak German, very interesting things that are not talked about that much and just a different view on also um, Second World War times. Just also interesting to see his per perspective on this time. And that's already been it for the books that I have decluttered this month. But I have decluttered a book last month and then I realized that I actually want to read it again. And it's this one. It's um, yeah from this entrepreneur, business owner, and I really like her. I talked about the book a bit last month and I it's her first book and I liked reading it, but I realized, I think it's a book, last time I read it, 
um, in like two days or something or two or three days. And I really forgot a lot about it, but I, she has so much packed into this book. And I think it's easier to understand more of what she's writing about if you read it in small chunks. So that's what I'm doing this time. And I'm really getting a lot out of it. I think there are a lot of good thoughts and um, ideas in this book and it's also just great because she is like a content creator as well she had a youtube channel but now mainly on instagram and it's just also interesting reading other people's perspectives on on struggles that we have in this industry of course she has like more than 10 times the following i have and still it's similar like we experience similar things of course she in on a much bigger scale but it's still something i can relate and learn from her learnings that she put into this book. And so it has been, yeah, it's just always great seeing like people talking vulnerably about this job and not just like glamorizing it or um, not speaking about half of it. And so I really liked it. And I'm, yeah, I'm currently still reading it for the second time. I'm not sure if later I'm gonna like keep it longer. And this would be like the only book I, I own. Um, or if I'm going to declutter it after I read it for the second time. Yeah, it's just interesting because I was sure that I wanted to declutter it. And then I just realized a few weeks after reading it for the first time, like, actually, I want to read it again. I think there were more things that I want to memorize better that I want to read again. And so I kept it. That happens rarely, but um, it's good that I haven't decluttered it before I realized I want to read it again. But that, ha that has actually never happened that I actually really decluttered something and realized that I want to read it again. So I have it for now. We'll see what I do after I'm done reading it. And now the last thing that I decluttered this month is bralettes. And I can show you, like I've only talked about them in the last few videos or like <laughs> several times, I think, but they're done. It's like, I'm not even really able to fix it because it's not like one part. It's just, yeah, it's, it's falling apart. And then the other thing, back here you can really tell that parts of the fabric are not existent anymore. And so it's not like the same stretchy material, but it has like lost the stretchy um, components here. I'm decluttering it now because it doesn't look good anymore. It doesn't work super well anymore. It's completely made out of polyester. I don't like the color. It's just time for it to go. And I have three bralettes um, in total. I'm wearing one and this is the other one. And this one has another problem. Like it also has the, the fabric problem. It's just, you can see it's, it's getting really, really loose. But the other thing <laughs> that happened is that this part that still exists here, is gone on the other side. It's like just, it broke and it was made out of plastic and this one doesn't work as well as the original like plastic one. And so, yeah, it's it's not tight. Like it, it doesn't do anything for me anymore. It's just fabric on my body, but it has no like function anymore. So that needs to go as well. So moving on to the things that have come into my life in October, it's two bralettes. And they are from the same um, friends that I had the last bralettes, the blue ones. Um, she's the girl that I went hiking with. And she also has a YouTube channel that I'm going to link you down below. And these are the bralettes that she gave me. She herself had, I think, too many and decluttered some. And so I have those right now. It's this color and this color. I think they fit my color scheme better, but I still want to have some um, skin colored ones. But until I have those, I at least have these and yeah, I hope they work as well as the, the blue ones. And the bralette I'm wearing, I think I'm gonna declutter that as well. So I had three before, now I have only two, but that doesn't really matter because it's winter. So I don't really need to wear a bralette every single day, I think. Um, that's just what I prefer doing. And so I think it's okay to have two. And again, I'm like hoping to have some um, skin colored bralettes soon as well. So we have three books and three bralettes leaving my life, two bralettes coming in and one book that I don't know, maybe I decluttered it last month and now it's coming in again. I don't know how to define that. You can do whatever you want with defining if that's something that comes into my life this month or leaving or I don't know, but just, you know, to be honest, so you know that it hasn't been completely decluttered 
because I said last time that I have decluttered it. But another thing I want to share with you is this sweater. And I want to share this because this is like a prevented out and in because I fixed it. It still has some holes in like the armpits, but it had um, a hole at my elbow and the other elbow was just getting really, really, really thin. And the other hole it had was on my arm here. You can not really tell it because the color match was pretty good. Um, just burned a burnt hole because accidentally I sat next to a fire and a piece of like burning wood burned a hole into my sweater. But um, a few videos ago, I'm going to link you the video where I do that. I showed you how I fixed this sweater. And I think this is like better than in and out. It's better if you can prevent something from needing to be decluttered and if you can prevent a new purchase. But of course it doesn't always work. But also for the books, it doesn't mean that's bad because if I declutter them, they get a chance at being read again. While if I would keep them, they would just be on my bookshelf and not being read. So I think we cannot say that always, it's always bad to declutter something. We cannot say it's always bad to get something new. It just really depends on the how a lot more than that we are decluttering or getting new things. But I still wanted to share that because I think um, I'm pretty happy that I was able to fix it. I'm happy with how it looks. Of course, it looks more rustic now, but I think it looks fine and I like it so far and I'm going to get a lot more use out of it. And that would have definitely been a piece that I would have thrown away, recycled, maybe made something else out of parts of the sweater if I wasn't able to fix it. But now we can postpone that for a little bit and wear it hopefully for another year. So that's already been it. That is everything that changed this month. For me, it doesn't feel like much somehow, even though it's still a few pieces, like it's a few pieces out, a few pieces in, and um, yeah, we're just gonna see how it continues. Let me know if you want to see another in and out video um, of the things I declutter and get in November. Um, I like doing them, but I don't know if you like watching them. So please let me know and also tell me how it works in your life. What you have been getting the past during the past month and what you have been decluttering. If it's more, if it's less, if you do it differently. And I hope you like this video. If you did, you can consider giving it a thumbs up because that would really help my channel. And if you want to see more videos, I am going to link you a playlist here. No, a video here and a playlist here. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye.